Hello everyone, welcome back to another Pokemon stream, your first Pokemon stream, whatever it is. Hello, 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 welcome on in. I am back for my one stream break. And I'm also late because I thought I could finish watching a One Piece episode before I started streaming today. And, um, well, I finished watching the episode. <laughs> we are currently on episode, I think, 120? Oh, good. Also, let me just fix things. Okay. Nope. There you go. That's better. Savage! Welcome on in! <laughs> it's just- No, you didn't. You liar. You liar. Also, the hair is still absolutely enormous today. And I'm wearing a white shirt and I forgot to change my light settings. Let's see if we can make this better. <laughs> is that better? I feel like I look a little bit more. Yeah, the hair's wild. The hair, like, I don't know how I did it. I have no idea if I can replicate this, but my hair has been like this the entire week. And it's kind of awesome because like the curls are like really nice, but there's also a lot of frizz because it's been raining, <laughs> especially like the top part. But yeah, this setting hides the will <laughs> wildness in some ways, but yeah, 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 yeah. Cause like I decided to wear, uh, like this is not really white, it's like cream, I think. I don't know what color this is. I don't know how to describe this color. How do I describe this color? It's like the whitest part of a cracker. That's what this color is. It's the whitest part of a cracker. That's the best way I can describe it. So if you have a cracker, you have like different shades, whatever the lightest shade is of the cracker, that's what this is called. So streaming looks light blue in the middle. See? I mean, look, that looks kind of almost yellowish. I don't know. It, it's... In real life, in real life, it's the lightest color of a cracker. Whatever name you want to name that, that's what that's that's this color. Put the headphones on. Are you real life? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I had to check, but I believe so. Ooh, that's going. Pinch yourself. Brr. <laughs> Yes, I believe I'm real life. Pre pre pretty sure, pretty sure, pretty sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alrighty, so. My day was great for one very simple reason. I learned two things today, but also those are not the reasons my day was great. My day was great because today was my last day of work before I have two whole weeks off of work. Two whole weeks. Just, mm, yes, the time has finally come. I have two weeks off. So my day was great, <laughs> just because of that. Um, so yeah, but also, it was also pretty, pretty cool because I learned two new things today and one of them was 100% because I pressed a whole bunch of random buttons and uh, I didn't know I wanted that result, but I wanted that result. Actually, I wanted that result the other way around, but I couldn't figure that one out, but I got it one way. I just need to figure out how to get it the other way. Essentially, the thing I found out, if you press a whole lot of random buttons, is that you can actually connect a Google form to a spreadsheet. And however many times you fill out the form, it will just transfer over to the spreadsheet in order with dates and times and all the details. That's freaking amazing. 
I didn't know you could do that. I thought you had to do like one thing and then the next thing and then you had to like copy things from here to there and then like manually like format them. But no, you can literally do like all done. That was really cool. I wanted to have it the other way around though. I wanted to have it from a spreadsheet from a Google uh, spreadsheet to a form where you fill in the Google spreadsheet and it auto fills the form. Don't know if that's possible to do with my skills though, especially cause getting from a form to a spreadsheet, I, I, I literally pressed a bunch of random buttons. I don't really know how to replicate that. <laughs> so it can all connect like the Marvel universe. It's all connected. <laughs> so yeah, so that was one thing I learned today. That was pretty exciting. Can you tell I'm an adult? Yeah. But that was pretty excited. <laughs> Symbia, welcome on in. Hello, hello. How we doing? Okay, now. Before we go with shiny hunting. Because apparently Drifloon is not version exclusive for this event. Which means I can get it. Which means I can get it as a shiny. Now, here's the thing though. Um... Sweat pen check. One knee. The other knee. <laughs> There's also legs attached to those knees, just FYI. <laughs> okay, thanks you. I'm hyped. I got two weeks off, starting now. And I, I learned a couple of things that is pretty exciting. Are there though? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Okay, now, are you sitting down? Because this next thing I randomly discovered today is gonna blow your socks off, okay? I found out that you can schedule emails to be sent. Like, that is life changing. Because every time I go on holidays, there's usually like a couple of days where specific emails need to be sent and I know the timeline for that. So usually when I go on holidays, I would basically prepare the emails, keep them in draft, and then I would make a note in the agenda for my coworker to log into my email for work and click the send button on those specific days. Now I found out you can actually schedule emails to be sent at a specific day and time, as if you were like setting it up in your agenda. So I don't have to ask my colleague to log into my email because I could just schedule the emails to be sent on those specific days, which is great. Cause that's one last thing that she has to worry about. And she has already a bunch of things to worry about. So this is amazing and a time saver and a work saver. I didn't know that was a thing. You don't understand. I was, I was, I was so hype when I found this out. Okay, I was so freaking hype. How dare you? My socks shot onto my curtains. Now I have to get them. Uh, then, then if listen, if that's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do. There. That's what you gotta do. But yeah. So, um, so yes, very excited that I found out that that is the thing that you can do because I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know though. I didn't! I didn't know that. I came about it by chance and I was just like, <gasps> oh, Savage got a mini or Will it be orange? Will it? Will it? Will you finally be able to try to catch up to Nitty again? <laughs> You're really behind though. Like really behind. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so very excited about the email thing. Um, that was like life-changing so so yeah <laughs> Shut up. Uh, that's uh, you know I could but then this stream would probably be like really boring so so yeah anywho I see that it's currently nighttime in my game so let's go over to the game screen so that we can start shiny hunting for Drifloon let's go Bring. see Savage you're like really really behind Okay, so we at nighttime. I need to go get the Poke News. Because I haven't done that yet. As compared to. As compared to no mess. What?
as compared to now mess. <laughs> I was like, that, that, that sentence made no sense, sir. Also, I think I smudged my glasses. I did. I did smudge my glasses. Okay, well, the glasses are gonna go off because I'm not. This is fine. She would get burning if you shut up. I feel like it would. Unless the fact that I'm shutting up is the most entertaining part of this. Also, I feel like now that I've taken my glasses off, my face looks naked. <laughs> and that's very weird. Pretty low bar. Okay, then I'll just shut up. It's easier for me too. <gasps> this has sparkles? Wait, do we have... <gasps> There's one right here. Oh, 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 this is amazing. Hold on. Oh, this is great. Okay, I like this because I'm like really close by to this one. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, I can see all of your name. Dude, like for real though, every, like if I wake up and I don't put my glasses on, oh, the lag. Why is it so laggy? Oh, that's a little bit better. Um, exposing. No, like this is, okay, this is like really, really weird, but like every single time that I, wake up if i don't put my glasses on and i look in the mirror i'm like okay this is cool this is fine you know no problem the moment i put my glasses on if after like an hour or so i take them off again i'm like oh no oh no like we naked over here um it also takes a while for my eyes to adapt to stop seeing blurry again so that's always fun i keep forgetting i'm supposed to wear glasses yeah i i, I really do though Oh, also, we did evolve all the Dun Spurs, and none of them were shiny, so I should probably put them back in a box. But I did want to get just this as the Pokedex entry. Um, I mean, we can just put them in the box later. Although, we do have Pokemon to evolve still. Oh, shit. I'm kind of losing nighttime with this, but you know what? It's fine. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway. Anyway. Let's go make a sandwich because we're definitely losing whole. Oh, what's happening? Fatal Nation. Oh, I get it. Fatal. As in... Welcome on in, thanks for follow! <laughs> Quite not enough space. What about over here? Okay, just two steps away, I did have enough space. Actually, what do I need for ghost? Ghost, ghost, ghost. Red onions, I think I have those. If I don't, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I, could, I guess I could go for flying. Oh! Oh! Uh-oh! Fatal Nation, thanks for the raid! Hello! And uh, my notifications are not broken. <laughs> Savage! <laughs> nope, they broke! The notifications broke! <laughs> oh my goodness, this is great. This is great. Fatal Nation, welcome on in. Take it back on Okay, hold on. I can make it up to you. Let me just get the sandwich started. I'll make it I'll make it up to you after the sandwich, okay? Let me finish making the sandwich, Savage. <laughs> oh man, that's great. <laughs> the notification works. No, the notification is broken. It is broken. Oh, that's great, dude. Faye, how was your stream? I'm gonna call you Faye because I feel like that's cool. <laughs> Faye is better than Fatal. Faye is cool. <laughs> you better make... I will, I will. Give me a second. Let me just make the sandwich. You will not be disappointed, I think. Maybe, perhaps. I don't actually know. Okay. Du, 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 
Pokemon anime gif thingy. It's good found shiny nose path before trying to find the drift loom. Oh, that's a good shiny though. Savage, did you did you approve the new style of notification? <laughs> nah, dude. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I tried. I know something. Uh oh. Oh no. What do you know? Because apparently I don't know enough. Okay. The bicycle. Actually, I should apparently be stuck. Oh, oh, oh. I can fly. Wait, can I do flyovers? Sing me a Dutch song you remember anything that pops in your head. I can't sing that. That has swear words. If it's the first thing I popped in my head, I can't sing that. It has swear words. Uh. Uh. I literally. I. What do we, what do, we do? Uh. Kinder for Kinder? We, we do Kinder for Kinder? Wait, wait, we can go from swear words all the way to Kinder for Kinder. This can work, this can work. This can maybe work. Uh, let's see. Ik loop met een ben op de stoep en een ben in de goud en als ik dat niet doe, dan ben ik morgen dood. Ik kom er niet vanaf, ik baal er wel eens van. Ik weet alleen maar dat ik het niet laten kan met een ben op de stoep. And I'm been in the goat. Da 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 da, wait you hoor. Maar ik ga maar door. Ga er maar mee door. Altijd maar mee door. <laughs> that good enough? Do you accept this song? As compensation for the notification being broken. <laughs> yeah, I know it's fine, but like there's Dutch swear words that overlap, okay? Okay, they overlap. And I just went straight into Kindra for Kindra. Because we definitely know that that's PG. I feel like I should catch another one. You know, stop for Oliver and company. Really? You asking me that? Of course I do. I know the song from Oliver and company. The best one. I just don't know it in Dutch. I don't know it in Dutch. I know it in English. <laughs> okay, now we caught two. That means we're guaranteed to get one of each. And now we're fighting more things. Love that. Love that. No, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't think I know any Disney songs in Dutch, actually. I know that I know parts of the Animaniacs song in Dutch, but I don't think I don't think I know any Disney songs in Dutch for as far as I remember off the top of my head. Well, the conversation has been settled, but if you want to sing the Oliver and Company song, I will not stop you. <laughs> Aladdin songs are so good in Dutch. I I I don't remember watching Aladdin in I don't remember watching any no, I think Oliver and Company, I've watched it in Dutch one time. And I'm pretty sure I've watched The Lion King in Dutch one time, too. And also probably The Aristocats, but... I don't remember any other ones being watched in Dutch. But I might be misremembering things because I've seen them so many times in English. Um, so there is that. There is that. Uh, 
But yeah, I think one of the only songs that I remember in Dutch from like things that I've watched is probably a good chunk of the Animaniacs, a good chunk of Fairly Odd Parents. I think I might know a little bit of Spongebob, but that might just be my brain translating things, because it's not too hard to translate that. I would like to do flybys. Can I do flybys? Like, if I climb all the way up here, can I fly over? Prince Ali Adaristi Ali Ababa Eden must all see him groot deep door the knee. Nog nooit heeft men in de stad zo'n grote intocht gehad. Het is gewoon weg. It is gewoon weg te veel for your fantasy. I don't know. I think I butchered that. I think I butchered that. I think I started off strong and then just slowly crumbled into nothingness. It was close. It was close. It was close. Okay, cool. I mean, I know the rhythm. Like, knowing the rhythm should help. Substantially. I don't think I like this area to hunt for the Drifloon. There's too many trees and stuff. What was the other one? Or do we have any drifts over here? And I'm kind of wasting sandwich time, but... But if I go over here... Oh, it's nighttime over here too right now. Oh, that could actually work. Oh! Where's this? Pokemon League. Oh, and there's here as well. Oh, we might actually do this. Actually, no, I wanna... Oh, it's it's daytime now, so I do have to go this way if I don't wanna waste the sandwich. Okay. You know what? That is perfectly fine. Totally acceptable. Well, I'll post more layers, but I like the attempt. Thank you. Thank you. I, tr I tried my best. I tried my best. <laughs> About that, Oliver. Go. <laughs> well, I don't know the Dutch version. So like I can't I can't sing the Dutch version. Cause that that I just don't know the lyrics for it. Oh the English I was like, you're still stuck on the Dutch version here, dude. Okay, wait, let me Did they change the music? Oh, no, that's just Los Platos' a song. I don't think I've been long enough there to fully get the music there. Okay, that was a little bit... A little bit odd for a second there. Okay, uh, Oliver and Company, the English one. Found the Drifloon. Oh, I found the Drifloon. Okay, they're down here. There's gonna be most, more ghosties over here, though. I guess that's fine. Um. Oh, gosh. I am kind of... Forgetting the rhythm. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me remind myself that I know the lyrics. I don't know the rhythm right now. My brain is getting stuck. Like stuck, stuck. Uh. Why should I worry? Why should I care? I may not have a time, but I've got streets of warfare. There. That's all you get. That is all you get. Okay? You better accept that as being enough. <laughs> Wait, af aftermath? Wait. Um. I know Drift Blim has explosion. Does Drift Loon? Also have explosion? Cause that that would be that would be bad. Cause I don't think I have a single Pokemon that has damp. I just got the longest song notification from anyone here. So. <laughs> there you go. That was Oh, I see what your intentions were. I see what they were. 
You sneaky sneak. Hi, there's Dunspar spawning over here too. That's pretty cool. Okay. Come back down. Only good intention. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I see your good intentions. Oh yeah. You doubt. Should I not? Should I not doubt you? Actually, Drifloon's shiny is yellow and blue, which matches really nicely with the quick ball, which means I could just quick ball this. And over here, the level's pretty low, so I think it should be okay. I think I should be okay. Yeah. No, we've had some... I, listen, I know I didn't stream on Wednesday, which basically means that I... You basically haven't told any stories the entire week. Uh, but I do... I do have... Had some experiences in the past few days. Some, some kind of panicky ones. And then good ones. And that, that's the same experience. <laughs> Basically, I don't know if... That sounds, sounds ominous. Yeah. So, remember how on Monday I got a phone call during stream that I had to pick up because it was the, the vet? So, essentially, during that phone call, the vet told me that the, my cat's meds did not arrive. Um, which was bad. They also told me during that phone call that I should pass by on Tuesday, uh, regardless of if they call me to tell me that the meds had arrived or not. So after work on Tuesday, I went to the vet to figure out what the hell's going on because I had ordered the meds like nearly two weeks ago. So I went there, and the lady that was at the reception was like, No, I'm so sorry, the, the meds didn't come in. She, look, she looked everywhere. Like, she tried her best. She literally looked everywhere. And I was like, oh no. That's, like, really, really bad, because, like, I stretched out the medication an additional three days than I should have. So I have no more meds left. Like, it was Tuesday. I had no more meds left. And this is meds that my cat needs to take every single day. Um, which, you know, not, not great if you... Take the time to order them two weeks in advance and they just don't arrive because of transport delays. Um, so basically on Wednesday they were like, okay, listen, we will, I have made a note here. As soon, the moment they arrive, we will call you. It was 2 p.m. I got a call from the vet on Wednesday. At 2 p.m. I got the call. Your meds have arrived, or in this case, my cat's meds have arrived. And I was like, oh, yes! Okay, amazing! So we went from like, low, 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 panicky, panicky me, kind of low, to like, Wah! So cool! Uh, finally! They're here! We, can, we are good to go! I had no more meds for that day, so like, the fact that they arrived on Wednesday was perfect. Because I could just give the, the meds in the evening. And we wouldn't have to miss a day. Which was... The best case scenario at that point. So. I get to the vet after work. And they're like, okay, here are your meds. And I had already paid them. So, I'm like, okay, here are your meds. You just go with and good luck with your cat. I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then one of the other ladies stops and like, what do you mean the, the meds are fully paid? And I'm like, yes, I fully paid the meds when I ordered them. It's like, no, but this is the wrong price. And I'm like, what do you mean this is the wrong price? This is the price I paid the last two times I ordered them with you. And she was like, oh no, no, the, these meds are 100 euros, not 74. The price changed in January. And I was like, but I've ordered meds with you twice since January and this is what I paid. And she's like, yeah, but apparently the system didn't update. And I'm like, what am I? That's not my fault. Um, and I'm like, well, 
we ordered these meds specifically for you and you can have the meds ordered and only pay half or not pay anything or something like that and so i do need to ask that you pay the difference that is still remaining which is 26 euros and i was like well i need the meds so like i'm not gonna say no because if i say no they're they're not gonna give me the meds you know um so i paid the additional 26 euros and i'm just like okay uh a hundred euros is a lot of money for meds. You know? If I thought, like, 70, 80 euros for meds was a lot, like, a hundred euros is, like, a lot, lot. Um, which is absolutely insane. So, essentially, I'm gonna have to pray and hope that when we take my cat in for her checkup in December, have enough meds until December, uh, that, uh, they come up with a different plan of action, because having to pay 100 euros every two months, considering it's the end of the year, that price might increase again come January, because everything's going up. Uh, yeah, this has been a roller coaster ride. <laughs> Not a fun one. <laughs> It's still less than getting them at the other place. That was more expensive. Yeah, the problem... Okay, so my problem is the following. This place usually is the... This vet usually is the fastest vet to have the meds available. Normally, I would order the meds and they would have them in within three, two to three days. Which is great. The other place takes two to three weeks and costs... Well, at, at this moment, uh, probably the same. But before the price increase, it was more expensive. So two to three weeks is a lot of time and there's no guarantee that they'll come in within two to three weeks, which is the problem. Now the other place has also increased prices um, and takes about a week and a half to come in. And finally, the last place, they always have them in stock, but when it used to be like, when I could use to find it for like 70 to 80 euros, this place would sell it for 100 to 120 euros. Um, which is a lot of money. If you can get it for almost half the price. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so that's essentially, um, so that's essentially the conundrum that I was in. Like, okay, well, either I pay more and I have immediate access, or I pay less, but I have to make sure that I pre-order things on time. <laughs> Isn't life great? Isn't adulting fantastic? <laughs> like, yeah. It's like literal math with like money and time. Like a full-on equation to figure out what's the best course of action. Yeah. <laughs> but now that the prices have changed, I have to reevaluate everything if we stick with this treatment plan. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But that was just one of the adventures. That was just one of the adventures that I had this week. It was the biggest one, I must say. Monkey King! Hello! I heard the word adulting. Yes, adulting is hard. I don't, I don't like adulting. But you know, sometimes it's necessary. Sadly enough. Adulting ain't easy. Adults just make it look easy when you're a child. Oh gosh, I'm falling. Yeah. Listen, if you are not an adult yet, and you are watching this, stay a child. Adulting is hard. How many experiences do you have to talk about? Well, let me see. Let me see what other entertaining experience I would have to talk about. Because there's a there's a thing where it has to be entertaining, of course. Because <laughs> if it's not entertaining, then it's just my life, and that's kind of boring. You know? Just, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit 
so boring. If Peter Pan asks, yeah, if Peter Pan asks, go with him. We hunting ghost? We hunting ghost. Specifically, this Drifloon. I need two of them. And I need two of them because they are not actually Pokemon that are freely available in my version of the game. Which is kind of sad. So we are hunting ghosts. I will have to do a Herba Mystica raid stream soonish. Actually, have they announced when uh, part two of the DLC is coming out? Because I don't think we have dates for that yet. And it's already like almost November. Shouldn't there be dates out by now? Ooh, sun's coming up. The sun! Oh no, the sun! Hunted the balloon since it's a Scarlet exclusive. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm attempting to do too. Hunt the balloon because exclusive. Also caught two of the regular non-shiny ones. Because exclusive. I have a small experience of my own from today that only Tasha would understand, but I'll wait until she's done with her experience. Oh, you can tell yours. I'm gonna have to figure out where to go next anyways, because I still have 10 minutes of the sandwich and it's nearly daytime. Or is it daytime already? Hold on. Oh gosh. What am I doing? Ah! It's still night. It's still night. We still have time. We can still get going. I went into the hospital for my six monthly checkup and all Gucci, yes! You know what? That's great, dude. But like, did they also, um, did they also give you Gucci? Because like, you could totally sell that for cash. That's all I'm saying. Like, I understand that the ketchup is Gucci, or the checkup is Gucci, but like, do, do you also get Gucci to take home with you? Because, you know, that'd be kind of nice. You want anything from the house? But you can sell it. They're soups. <laughs> I'm lucky enough to never have been at the hospital long enough to eat like warm foods. The day I had surgery, is this still going even though it's daytime? Or am I crazy right now? Uh, the day I got knee surgery, uh, I think they gave me too much anesthesia because it literally took like six hours for me to awaken and like be semi-conscious of what the hell was going on. Um, wait, are these still gonna continue spawning even if it's daytime? Wait, like is this an actual part of the event or is my game just broken? Because if that's- if they keep spawning even though it's daytime, then that's like incredibly OP. Wait, hold on, what? Because there's no other ghost types that spawn during the day. Aside from the drippy, I guess. Wait, do they actually just keep spawning? Like, is this an actual thing? Is this a feature? The ghost for the event keeps spawning even in daytime? <gasps> that is amazing news! 
Like, actually! Holy crap! That just means it's even more efficient to shiny hunt for the ghost during the day. Oh, we're gonna have some fun today! Yes, we are! I think my have my aunt was there as well. Same time as me, so I went and said hi there. Just positive about it. Oh. That's good, though. The mind is half... The mind takes care of the body, and the body takes care of the... That's, like, really weird, though, because, like... Okay, like, let me... Okay. So, like, if you... My back's itchy. <laughs> okay. Basically. Okay. Let me see if I can give an example for this. So, you know how if you are feeling anxious, you can have like a physical, or if you're feeling depressed, you can have like a physical reaction to like being sad or like being anxious in the form of like either a panic attack or an anxiety attack or just feeling sick and stuff like that? Yeah, that's your mind. That's your mind doing things to you. And sadly enough, your mind affects your body, but also if your body's not feeling great, your mind's not going to feel great either. So I feel like I'm dying every time I have a cold. <laughs> so. I found my two balloons in the daytime. That is awesome, though. Wait, if you find the balloons in the daytime, considering it's a ghost spawn that doesn't usually spawn during the day, do, it, do they automatically get, like, the little, like, daytime mark? That'd be kind of cool. I mean, mine's not okay, your brain doesn't brain you can't focus on it. exactly you can't focus on stuff okay well if this thing doesn't expire as soon as the sandwich is over which is in five minutes i'm gonna go figure out where the best location is for me to shiny hunt the drift loon the loon the balloon because if they spawn during the day as well that's pretty OP. No, I don't know, Tasha. Have you been looking at the Japan? I have taken a peek. Uh, I also kind of want to know, can you mute the notification so that the little, like, notification mark stop showing stop showing up because i'm kind of paranoid about those little notification marks like i they have to be cleared out and i can't be in bella's just chat like every five minutes clearing out all of the notifications because that's gonna drive me insane absolutely insane like i don't mean any anything bad with it but like <sighs> There's notifications every single time I look. <laughs> Simp, welcome on in. Hello. Happy Friday. Can you follow some easy instructions right now? Like super easy? Oh. Uh, can it wait four more minutes for the sandwich to be over so I can optimize everything as much as possible? Yes. Thank you. Because I, I've basically been clicking mark everything is red every single time. <laughs> Just can't keep up with it. I'm not fast enough. You try to get balloon? I try to get balloon. Yes. That is goal. Goal number one is get the shiny balloon. I need two of them. So we're gonna keep hunting the balloons until we get two of them. And if we happen to be lucky enough to get two of them... Then... We go hunt other things if we have time. But priority number one... Is the balloon. I'm the Animal Crossing server. If I let that turn on, I get pinged every three seconds or something. Wait, what do you mean you are the server? 
Do people keep tagging you in things? Oh, you are in. I did not read the in. I read you are the server and I was just like. So I guess you went to the hospital to get surgery so you could become a robot? Mm-hmm. I see what you did there, sir. You over here with all the hospital talk? It's because you went in to turn yourself into a robot. I, uh... I figured it out, sir. I figured it out. Don't know which doctor authorized it, but, uh... I am now fully convinced that you have turned into a robot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Or, uh, or Cyborg from, um, from DC Comics. That could work, too. Next time it's Gorilla Arms. Oh, no! Slowly becoming an abomination! <laughs> but let there be no next time. We don't want to turn ourselves into abominations now, do we? I think- I think the computer parts are enough, right? One minute! My damage time is done, now focusing on stability. <laughs> yeah, make sure all your software updates got done on time. <laughs> Change this. Oh lord. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, let me tell you about something even more exciting, okay? Let me tell you about something exciting that's happening in my life, okay? So, a few months ago, my grandma came over from Brazil to visit. Now, she was supposed to leave in about two weeks, but uh, my cousin is apparently coming over to Portugal as well from Brazil with an attempt to actually get work here and stay here. So she wants to move here. And she is arriving the day before my grandma is supposed to leave. That and also uh, my mom is going to have minor surgery. Um like that week as well so my grandma decided to extend her stay past new year's now if you don't understand why this is exciting let me explain my brazilian grandma that has never been in temperatures below 20 degrees celsius has decided to remain here in portugal for Christmas and New Year's for the first time ever. I have never had my grandma here for Christmas and New Year's. Ever. So the fact that she decided to extend her stay is beyond exciting. She is. That's a little something something there. Uh, so yeah. We have heating. Exactly, you savage. We have heating. <laughs> Hi, Pop. <laughs> now here's the second thing. Here's the second exciting thing, okay? Tomorrow is her birthday. Tomorrow is my grandma's birthday. And she's turning... 89? Bop? 88? 80, 89? 88! 88! She's turning 88! <laughs> We've lost track of time. <laughs> You're gonna let her out when it's below 20. I mean, she might not want to. She might, she might, you know those cats that you see in like, um, 
snow videos where the cat takes like one jump into the snow and is like, nope, 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 and gets back. Yeah, I can imagine that being my grandma. <laughs> Just take one step out of the house. It's too cold. Let's go back inside. <laughs> Like, I can, I can see that happen. I think my sandwich is over. Yeah, I also realize that sounds like a pet now. No, wait. Just made it worse, dude. You're saying that, but I made it worse. <laughs> okay, so the sandwich is over. Don't let it hurt. <laughs> Yeah, but like I just compared it to one of the cats in the snow videos. So like hey, who's better off here? I am she's my grandma. I can say this But yeah, this does also mean another thing though The fact that my grandma's staying over for Christmas and New Year's does also mean one second thing which is This might actually be the first year ever that I'll have both my grandmas here for Christmas. I mean provided Dutch grandma decides to say then I'll have Dutch Grandma and Brasilia Grandma. And that's pretty exciting. I don't think I've ever had both my grandmas here for Christmas ever. No, I don't think, no, I know for a fact, because I've never had one of my grandmas here for Christmas ever, so... <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> so that is my exciting and eventful news. Grandmas! <laughs> the grandmas! So, so yeah, very, very hyped about that. Okay, now you're supposed to spawn somewhere around here? Ooh. They say I found it, but I don't... I don't see any Drifloon spawning, so Christmas is going to be Grandma visits. Oh my gosh, Christmas is going to be amazing this year. Okay, so it says I arrived at the Drift Loon outbreak, but oh wait, it's in the water? Interesting. Okay, let's make the sandwich then. But also, let me just check the other map. I'm happy, I'm happy for me too. I was buying her a uh, birthday gift the other day, which I don't usually have the chance to do because she's usually not here for her birthday. Uh, since I've become a grown-up, that is. Uh, so I was buying her birthday present the other day, and the lady in the store was like, Oh, uh, I was like, I need, I need a gift, um, uh, I need a gift receipt just in case, like, things don't fit. Um, and the lady in the store was, Oh, this is a birthday gift? And I was like, yes, for my grandma, she's here for the first time during, like, the winter months. And my, and, like, the lady that was, like, at the counter, like, ringing me up, she was also Brazilian, so she's like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> there was like, there was like a bonding moment there with this girl that I, I don't know anywhere. I don't know. But yeah, the, it was, okay, I'm excited, okay? <laughs> I'm excited. And then the second thing that happened the same day is I went to get my bracelet fixed, because like, I broke the lock of one of my, um, of one of my bracelets. And shows, here I am showing bracelets. <laughs> Uh, so I went to this uh, jewelry store where I got my bracelet, my bracelet to uh, get it fixed. They fixed it quite quickly, actually. It only took like ten minutes. And um, and then I spotted something, and I was like, oh, oh no, oh, this would make a great birthday gift for my other friend, for one of my besties. And I was like, oh, dang it, I need to go buy this now, don't I? And and so I bought it. <laughs> um, I, I now have, I, I was intending on buying just one birthday gift uh, that day and I ended up buying two. <laughs> uh, kind of an impulse buy, but she's gonna like it. I know for a fact she's gonna like it. And her birthday isn't like two weeks from now, so. <laughs> So I was just like, yeah, yeah, this week's fine, because this, this is just just slightly beyond the threshold of can give it back in case she doesn't like it, but I'm, I'm convinced she's gonna like it. 
I'm obviously not gonna say what it is, because if I do, she she might be watching, and I don't, I don't want her to know what it is, because that would ruin the surprise. Uh, I did immediately do what I always do, which is text her like, so I did a thing. And then she, her reaction is always, oh God. <laughs> she knows me. She knows that when I message her like, so I did a thing, it usually means that I bought something for someone. <laughs> um, and I said like, yeah, I was fixing my bracelet. I saw this thing and then I bought it. I wrote thing, like the word thing. Uh, and so I bought it and it's your birthday present. I, I have your birthday slash Christmas present now. Um, so, uh, and she was like, oh. <laughs> and then she proceeded to tell me how like she's buying the house and stuff like, oh my gosh, like, no, my friend is this close to buying a house and moving even further away from me. But on the positive side, it does mean she's quitting her job. I've never been so excited for someone to quit their job. Like, you don't understand. <laughs> like, have you ever felt excited because your friend is quitting their job? Yeah. She's buying a house and quitting. Yeah, because, like, she's moving away from her work. And also, uh, she should absolutely quit that job because that job has sent her into a downward spiral more times than we any of us would have liked. So yes, we are all actually really happy that she's quitting that soul crushing job that she's in. But yeah, it does also mean that she did manage to save up enough to... Wait, is it inside? The Drifloon are inside the rock? Like... All of them? Someone needs to go fix that! How am I supposed to do an outbreak if I can't see the outbreak? See, a few of them carry down, but... I thought this would be a good spot to hunt, but, uh... I, um, I don't think this is gonna be it. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's move to a different location. So we can still hold on to this one for later. Do we have any other Drifloons over here? No. So we're going back to Kitakami. Inside the rock. Just, yes, because having a balloon spawn inside of a rock makes total sense. You know, if it was like a Geodude or something like that, I'd be like, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. But, uh, it's a balloon. You know what happens when you throw rocks at balloons? They pop. It's just physics. So if a balloon would pop if you throw rocks at them, what do you think would happen if you put a balloon inside of a rock? They wouldn't even have a chance to pop. They'd just be deflated and sad. Your bracelet tangent made me forget about what I wanted to say. And I had to think for 20 seconds before I came back. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. 
Will it be worth it though? <laughs> well, I mean, if you forget it the first time, will it be worth having remembered it? I'm just saying. We usually say if you forgot it, it probably wasn't as important as you thought it was. So I still think it might be a valid question to ask. Do tell, though. It's because you talk so much, I want to know what you said and remember what popped in my head, you Sasquatch. <laughs> okay, but, like, is that my fault? Is it your fault you talk- I only talk this much on stream, dude. I only talk this much on stream, like that's the only time I talk this much. You just see me, the other day, uh, because of- uh, because Bruno started school, um, he essentially has to work, like, all day on one of the two days of the weekend. You're doing anything for Halloween? No, <laughs> nothing. I hate Halloween. It's Halloween and Carnival. I just like, no. Absolutely not. I am prepared this year though. I'm prepared for Halloween this year though. Which is a good thing. But I'll, I'll get back to Halloween. Let me just finish my point here about talking, okay? So last, last weekend, this past weekend, uh, Bruno had to work all day on Saturday. Which means I was home. Alone. I don't think I said a word the entire time I was home. Aside from the moments that, like, Bruno had called just to, like, say hi. Or because he was bored at work. So. Oh right, this is one of those walls I can't climb apparently. Which is kind of sad. Anyway. So. So yeah, I really only talk this much during stream. <laughs> but, regarding Halloween. What do I mean when I say I am prepared this year? It literally means I am prepared this year. So we live in a building full of kids. And the first Halloween after COVID restrictions were dropped, uh, we didn't remember it was Halloween. Uh, so we didn't have any candy because we also didn't go shopping. So the kids knocked on the door with the trick or treats and stuff like that. And we were like, we don't have any candy for you, but would you like to pet the cat? And then I presented them with one of my cats so they could pet them. They were still very excited about petting the cat. Like, don't get me wrong, but, uh, you know, it wasn't really the right thing. So after like two days later, we went shopping and I bought like a bag of candy and I found like a box and I attached it to like the inside of the elevator and I filled it up with candy. I was like, sorry, we didn't have candy for Halloween. Here, take some. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that, uh, that lasted a day. By the end of the day, the box was empty. <laughs> so I did make up for it. But this year though, this year uh, we went to Aldi like two weeks ago uh, for some minor shopping and uh, they already had Halloween stuff there so I was like well you know what I might as well just straight up buy this entire bag of Halloween candy so that we can have Halloween candy when the kids pop up 
Mine are shopping, you bought mine. No, no, no. I bought small packets of candy. They are minor. As in small. As in tiny. But yeah. So, uh, so I am prepared. I have an entire bag of Haribo candy. Individually wrapped that we can distribute when the kids finally decide to pop in. So I am prepared this time around. I shall not see disappointing kid faces. That Dutch Haribo. Dude. I like Haribo. A lot of people like complain or like... You know, say Haribo is nice, but like Haribo is nice. I mean, how you say it? Haribo? Haribo. But it's called Haribo. I don't understand. That's the name. How are you supposed to say it? I think I've decimated this outbreak a bit too much. Maybe. Like, how are you supposed to say Haribo? That's not the... But, like, how are you supposed to? I've never had a different way of saying Haribo. Like, even in, Port even in Portugal, if I say Haribo, people know what the hell I'm saying. I've never been corrected about it, so like I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. Harry? Harry bow? Oh no, that sounds wrong. Why would the bow be Harry? Nobody likes Harry candy. Why would you? No. I don't like that. I'm gonna stick to Haribo. Haribo sounds nicer. Haribo. Why is this bow so hairy? You know, like that? No. Mm -mm. No, I don't... I don't like that. I was planning on going for a hike in the woods with my buddies, but it hasn't stopped raining, so the ground will be mud central. So we're probably gonna stay in and watch a horror movie, and guess what movie you recently came out online? The Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Oh, lovely! I am probably gonna just sit at home and watch anime and Disney movies, because you know what? That's kind of the opposite of horror. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I can't deal with horror movies. Like, I really can't. Like, even the, the comedy one, what's it called? Scary Movie? I can't deal with those either. Jazz is in the room. I honestly struggle to comprehend, like, how people find being scared enjoyable. Like, I, I definitely- I 100% struggle to comprehend that, because every time I have seen a watch- seen a- parts of a horror movie, because yes, I've never seen a full one, it's always been parts because I end up closing my eyes, and being scared to- and just leaving, or shutting it off, um... So like I don't I don't understand how people find that fun. Cause that's not the experience that I have with it. So I kind of struggle to understand like how, how people can find being scared fun. Like being scared is not fun. If being scared was fun, it would be called happy. But you're not being happy, you're being scared. So like it doesn't make any sense to me. And I also don't know if I am making sense right now. I feel like I am enough. I feel like I'm making enough sense. Probably. 
Probably. Probably making enough sense. Got half of the sandwich still left. I think this is the best place to hunt for this thing. I can just go up and down and it'll just keep spawning. It's an adrenaline. Mm hmm. I did good with that one. It's an adrenaline rush, but I'm curious what they made from the game. Yeah, I am. Um... I, uh, I've never watched it. I've never seen it. I have no intent on ever dealing with it, so I'm good. I mean, if you like an adrenaline rush, go on a roller coaster or like. I don't know. Call a doctor to m make a doctor's appointment, because that's always an adrenaline rush. Not in a good way. And yes, I am a grown-ass adult, apparently. Making my own doctor's appointments is still not fun. And neither is a lag caused by the rain. Wow. That is awful. That is awful. But actually, speaking of new released games, um, okay. Let me ask y'all something. Y'all seen the watermelon game, right? Because the craziest thing happened. So I was constantly getting ads for this watermelon game on my phone. The watermelon game. Yes. Okay. So I was, at, for the past like, couple of weeks, I was constantly getting ads for this watermelon game on my phone. Like, it's a mobile app, okay? And I was like, you know what? I need a new game to play anyway. Let's try this one. Um, so I downloaded it. I have started playing it. I am obsessed with it. Like, it's so addictive in the worst possible way. Um... But the next day, I started seeing all of these people on YouTube also playing the watermelon game, but it was like a different version of the watermelon game because this one was on the Switch. And I'm just like, wait, is this not the game that I started playing like a day ago? How, is, how are suddenly all of these videos popping up of people playing this game or a version of this game? Um... The Switch does not have mobile games. Apparently, the Switch launched the Watermelon game. From what I could tell by the same makers, but this is like a mobile version that I'm playing. Um. Oh, yeah, but I don't think this is the same, because, like, the, the game on the Switch is paid. It's like three euros. Um... And the one on the phone is free. Yes, but I'm not talking about all of the games. I'm talking about this specific game. Like, the graphics are not 100% the same. For, like, the, the fruits, but... Yeah. Switch version was... Ported so cost money. Yeah, I can imagine. I am considering getting that game for the Switch, actually. I don't think- I don't think I can have this game on my phone. Cause not- right now I'm playing Pokemon. And that's- that's fine and all. Cause like, I love Pokemon more than any other game. Um, but every single minute of ev <laughs> every single day that I've had this game on my freaking phone, I've been playing it and it's so difficult. It is so difficult. I think I've gotten to the watermelon like maybe four times. I got close to getting a second watermelon, but then I... I, 
I didn't. I lost. Um, you heard about Disney Dream Valley? Uh, no, I did not hear about Disney Dream Valley. What about it? They were supposed to go free to play when they released for real on the Switch, but they said, nah, not doing that anymore. Ooh. Yeah, that's disappointing. So I guess I'm just gonna keep going up. Yo, that Mianfu just like spoofed down the... into there. Like, you could just see it like jet into the screen. Holy crap. Read that? Oh gosh. Uh, as we look ahead to the official launch of. I mean, that sounds very half-assed. Sounds very half-assed. Like, come on. Free-to-play is not the same as free updates. Free updates is not the same as free to play. <gasps> nope. But yeah, now back to the watermelon game. Let me, okay, I'm gonna. This is the watermelon game. This is the watermelon game, okay? Your goal is to get to the water. I need to close this because otherwise I'm going to start playing this while playing Pokemon and that's not very convenient. Your goal is essentially to merge fruit until it merges into a watermelon. And then you keep going. But it can't, it can't like exceed above a certain line. Because if it goes that, it like squishes all the fruit into juice. The best way to describe it. Um, reverse Japanese is so easy to read. Yeah. Uh, I think it's called... It's literally called Watermelon Game. Like... Like that there, it says Watermelon Game. Okay. I am fully addicted to this game right now, okay? Like my high score is like 3,500. And like, I've only managed to get a single watermelon. And I couldn't keep going after that because I just fully ruined the game for myself. But then I see people with high scores of like, six, seven thousand, and I'm just like, how do you get there? Like, what is that? So, um, yeah, the watermelon game, guys. It's, it's addictive. Um, if you have nothing to do, you should try it. If you do have things to do, stay away from it. Cause... You're gonna wanna keep trying to beat your own high score. It's a problem. If you think you were ever addicted to a game, check those high scores, yeah. You'll feel better. Yeah, I know, but then at the same time, I'm so confused, like, how do these people get these kinds of high scores? Like, it doesn't compute. Like. I'm struggling to get even one watermelon, let alone two of them. And also, what happens when you get the second watermelon? Because that recipient is not big enough to hold two watermelons plus a bunch of other fruit. So, like, do they merge and, like, leave the recipient? Do they, like, vanish? Or, like, wh what happens there? Like, I don't, I don't understand what happens if you get a second watermelon. Because I've never seen anyone get a second watermelon. But apparently... There's people that are like five, six thousand points on it. I'm just like, what the hell? How do I get that far? With my mere 3,500. So, so yeah, that's the watermelon game. One day after I started playing it on mobile, apparently it came out for the Switch. And apparently people are just as obsessed with it as I am. Which makes me feel a little bit better. 
My mom had a period where she was very into hidden object games. She could almost find them before I even read all the things to be found <laughs> below them. Yeah, but hidden object games have a pattern and this game is like kind of RNG because you don't know what you're getting next. Like you don't know, the, the fruits do not come in a specific order. So like you have no idea, like are you gonna get a strawberry? Are you gonna get a cherry? Are you gonna get an orange? You don't know. You just have to try to predict RNG. It's very weird. Do not estimate tryhards. I mean, there are so only so many options that can drop, so it's gonna be like the first five grape, tomato. Orange, lemon, melon. Okay, so there's the- it only drops the first like five ones, but you have like ten of them to get to- You have to merge like into ten of them to get to the watermelon. It's hard, okay? It's difficult. It's complicated. It's- I can't get past my own high score. <laughs> I got close today to getting a second, a second watermelon, but like... Bruno touched my screen and dropped the fruit in the wrong place, and I tried to salvage it, but I couldn't. It was sad. Sea monster had no speed runs of people hunting a seriously hard monster in five minutes, while it would take me 20. Okay, but like, speed running is a different thing. Cause like, I could never. I could never do the speed run. Have you seen me play this game? Have you seen me play any game? I'm slow. So, like, that's not gonna... If we can do a slow run, then I might be, like, in competing leagues, but... Uh... Speed runs are not... I could, I could never. Are you slow in the watermelon game? I'm slow enough in the watermelon game, actually. Like, I'm actually slow enough. I don't think you could get to 35 if you were going fast. You couldn't get to 3500 if you were going fast in that game. Like, there's no way. Because, like, the fruit takes time to move around. No, because, like, the if you drop a fruit in a specific place, okay, the rest of the fruit on the in the container will move. And those movements can actually change the way things work around for you. And how things merge. Also, there are hackers in all games. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. I don't know. I've not seen anyone get over 4K. Like, not even on the YouTube channels. I saw that Ludwig got to, like, 3K. I thought Connor got to, like, 33 or something like that. I think Saikuno got close to 4K. And like, Lily Pichu as well got into like the three Ks, but like, I don't I don't think I've any I've seen any videos of anyone passing like four K. Ludwig Mogul dude, yeah. That dude, <laughs> that dude. I was actually watching. I was actually watching um, his like run on on the watermelon game today during lunch break. That game goes hard, dude. He got a season six. Yeah, I saw. I saw that for uh, Smash Brothers. Three minutes on the sandwich. Okay, so second sandwich down and still no shinies. What's going on today? Yep. I did see that. What do you mean pretty? Yeah, it's... I mean, they had the... Um, the stitch shirt the other day was cute. 
That's the only one I remember. Are we past 10? Oh, we're past 10. I can check QWERTY, actually. If we're past 10, I can check QWERTY because for sure I will have gotten the email. Yeah, I got the email. I don't, however, have the shiny, which is kind of sad. Let's see what we got today. Hmm. The third shirt should have been a poster. Like, what? what is up with QWERTY and putting up... Like, shirts... That should have been posters as, sh as shirts. Like, they should just put it as a poster, not as a shirt. Square art should be... Yeah, exactly. Should have been a poster. Was it a poster? Nope. Should it have been a poster? Yep. Give me Drifloon. Give me a yellow Drifloon. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Yeah. Let's not make that into a song. Munchlax is shiny is like a darker blue, right? Think so. Think so. like a shiny balloon hey on the other hand i'm also streaming on monday and i'm pretty sure this event runs until tuesday so if we don't get anything today we can still have a shot at getting the balloon on monday that's a pretty good thing that's a that's that's solid no, not all hope will be lost. And since we caught balloons, worst case scenario, I can just shiny hunt forward in eggs. When the time comes. Would you rather not, though? To be fair, in this game, shiny hunting in the wild is kind of more enjoyable. Than... Eggs, which I have not tried yet. But I've seen people... And it just feels like it's more enjoyable to just shiny hunt in the wild. Okay, those are gonna cut in on the spawns for drift. You've seen people? Where? Okay, so I don't know if you know, but um, I have at least one person living in my house, aside from me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I chose him myself. <laughs> chosen myself. Now, is this how Sasha's horror arc starts? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, I guess I could go pretty scary, even though I don't like scary, but like... I don't want to give myself nightmares, you know? I feel like that sounds like a good plan, like if I don't give myself nightmares, that would be great. It's Halloween month, and that is why we're shiny hunting for a ghost type Pokemon. That's as Halloween y as I go. Why not play into the joke? I mean, I could have, but 
Like I said, I don't want to... I want to give myself nightmares. I have a very vivid imagination. Everything I say, I see it in my brain. Um... So... I I'd rather not... Destroy myself. I haven't had a sleep paralysis episode in quite some time, so I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> I would very much so like to keep it that way, thank you. The sleep paralysis demon has not attacked me in quite a lot of months. It's actually quite surprising. I actually almost had... Like, almost, but then a cat decided to walk over me and I was like, okay, we're good to go. We're, we're awake now. Like, awake, awake. Not like paralyzed hallucinations kind of awake. So that was nice. And this, people, is why everyone should have cats. If you have sleep paralysis, get yourself a cat. At some point, they'll just walk over you and prevent the attack from happening. Yeah. That's, that's my, um, that's my assessment to the situation. If you suffer from sleep, sleep paralysis, just get yourself a cat. It'll fix all the problems. He the poop of the party. Nah. Nah, dude. That is not, that is not the case. Just really don't like horror stuff. All right, I can't set up. Like, why can't I set up the picnic if I'm riding them right on? Is it because I have to pull out a gigantic table and chairs out of my tiny little backpack? You can only see my leg. No, you can't, I'm wearing pants. Can't see my legs, I'm wearing pants. Oh gosh, what is happening? Pickle, onion, onion, onion. Uh, salty, bitter. Still doubt you have legs today, only saw me. Listen. I can assure you there are legs attached because if there weren't legs attached then I would not have been able to walk, get to and from work, and also unpark my car to get to work. Because that was a really big struggle this morning because people just don't know how to park and it's very annoying. But if I didn't have legs I would not have been able to do any of that. Nor would I have been able to get here to stream. Because I, I don't have any mobility aids in case I didn't have any legs. So, to conclude, I do have legs. Also, what would my knees attach to if I didn't have legs? Okay, would I be like one of those ghosts that's like, okay, well, here's a foot. And then there's like ghostly aura here's a knee and then more ghostly aura and then th that attaches to your hip he could have walked on your hands no i couldn't these don't have muscle okay these are just for show <laughs> i'm kind of curious to see what it's gonna be like in december I'll have to keep y'all updated for what the hell's gonna happen in December. What do you mean those are powerful arms? No, they're not. <laughs> no, they are not. Tasha strong? Tasha not strong. Tasha pretends Tasha strong, but not actually strong. Okay, I gotta stop talking in the third person because that's not, that's not that's not the vibe. That's not the vibe. That is not the vibe. No, but like for real though. Like, the arms are just for show, guys. Like, there's no strength in them. Bruno usually says that I punch like a hamster. 
I've never seen a hamster punch before. But apparently I look like one. So... <laughs> right? Look at him just making fun of me! But isn't it? I can make fun of him too. And he's not here to defend himself. Because he's asleep in the room next to me. <laughs> Yeah, boy goes to bed early. Meanwhile, I was like, okay, after stream, I have to go wrap my grandma's gift. And he's like, oh no, but I wanted to wait up for you. And I was like, you, you're gonna wake, you're gonna wait up for me. For me, after stream ends and I wrap my grandma's birthday gift? Nah, dude, you're gonna fall asleep way before that. <laughs> And he was like, I can I can stay on my iPad. And I'm just like, on my iPad, on my tablet. I was like, really, dude? Really? Nah. Nah, that ain't happening. You're gonna fall asleep. Um, judging by the time, he's probably already asleep. <laughs> so, like, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, dude. That ain't happening. You know what? But you know what the worst part of all of that was? The worst part was that he was like, but I will be waiting for you in my bed. And I'm just like, excuse you? My bed? Don't you mean our bed? And it's like, no, no, no. It's my bed. And I'm just like, listen, if we had two mattresses, you could call it your bed, but there is only one mattress, and we share it. Therefore, not your bed. Our bed. Now, obviously he was joking, but... <laughs> I just made the joke worse. Although, I do have to shove him to the side every time I go to sleep. Because he sleeps diagonally. Which I can't blame him for, because like, if he- if I'm asleep and he lets me, then I will sleep diagonally as well. Because you just sleep better if you sleep diagonally. That's just a fact at this point. One must sleep diagonally. Because it's just the best way to sleep. Thing is, if you're sleeping next to someone, you can't really do that. I have to shove him to the side of the But it's true! That's literally what I do! I'm just like... Go to the side. That's literally it! Like, at this point, I don't even care if he wakes up or not. Suddenly you hear clonk? Oh, that has happened once. Uh, then I realized his phone fell. Because he had forgotten to put it up on the on the nightstand thing. <laughs> no, but like, for real though, like at this point I don't even care if he wakes up. Oh, you mean the entire Bruno? No, no that, that wouldn't happen though. Because like his, his head usually sleeps in the right place. It's just the rest of his body that doesn't. So I just have to like shove him diagonally back to his side of the bed. And if he just happens to wake up, I can be like, move. And then he'll move. You know? It makes my life easier because like he weighs quite a bit more than me. <laughs> this description. Yeah. You know, the worst part is, like, like he doesn't make the bed before he goes to sleep. So, like, because of the way that I like to sleep, I have to make the bed before I go to sleep. Because I need, I need that, like, bed sheet, like, like, flat as a pancake. Okay, I need that bed sheet to be, like, flat, flat, like, no wrinkles whatsoever before I lay down. 
don't ask me why. I don't know why. Like, I've tried to find, like, if there's, like, any kind of, like, I don't know, bed sheets or something that, like, you just envelop the entire um, mattress with it and like zip it, zip it closed or something, so that it's like permanently, like fully stretch. Uh, I I have not had luck in finding anything of the sorts. So live alone. My foot end is tucked in, but the rest stays pretty flat when I sleep. So I just need to pull the corner close. Yeah. See, if I sleep alone, that's usually what would happen because I sleep like a rock. I don't really move when I'm asleep. Um, Bruna, on the other hand, does move quite a bit, so I have to make the bed every time I go to sleep. Because I don't make the bed in the morning, I make it when I go to sleep. So, um, so yeah, so really the solution would be, if there's like a, a, like a mattress sheet that like covers the entire mattress and like zips up, you know, like you would do with like your like your blanket, like your duvet, I think that's what it's called. Like, you know, the, the covers that like zip up. Well, if he is the rowdy one, he should fix the bed. Yeah, the problem is I go to sleep after him, which does mean that like by the time that I go to sleep, like he's already messed it all up again. So like, I, I don't even bother making the bed before he goes to sleep. I just make the bed with him on it while he is asleep. <laughs> it's much easier. Because, like, also by the time that I'm done, like, pulling all the sheets to, like, be, like, fully straight and flat and stuff like that, like, he'll have moved enough that I don't have to work as much to, like, shove him to the side. You know? It's a little bit better. <laughs> it's just a little bit better. But what I really need is, like, a duvet cover, but for a mattress. And that it, like, zips up. That's really what I need. I haven't found anything of the sorts, though. Don't even know if it's something that exists, to be fair. But yeah. Watch Loki take. No spoilies. No spoilies. No spoilies. Because I also have not seen last week's episode. Yet. Because One Piece has consumed my life. So like, I haven't even seen last week's episode yet. Because I'm in the Alabaster arc for One Piece and it's literally consuming me, okay? I know, I know, I am an abomination. I'm an abomination, I'm aware, okay? Don't come at me for not watching last week's episode of Loki yet. I know, and I will watch it. But One Piece. Okay? <laughs> Don't come at me. One Piece, dude, like... Like, Alabaster, though! Like, the battles! They're heating up! Flash speed cell. Whoosh! Whoosh! <laughs> didn't even see me. Did I move from the chair? Of course I didn't. It's too fast. You couldn't see me. <laughs> okay, wild lady. No, that's just the hair. The hair is the wild one. <laughs> Now I have Wild Child stuck in my head. Thank you, Savage. Just the hair. Yeah. That's a... Actually, that's a better song than the song I had before, so... Actually, dude, thank you for that. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. I had the worst one stuck in my head all afternoon because of a joke I made at work. You're welcome. Yes. You've basically replaced 
terribly annoying in loop song with Wild Child. Which is a lot better because it actually has words and lyrics. So that's good. That's good. What isn't good is the fact that there's not really a lot of drift loop spots for some reason. Yeah, there should be a bit more. That might have been nice. You know? Still like to get a shiny of it today. Totally meant to do that? Yeah, 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 of course you did. Of course you did. Because, like, I'm sure that you that has a couch in my brain was also getting annoyed by what was playing. Because any reasonable person would be. <gasps> you got it! You got the orange one! Dude! Congratulations on moving on to Route 14! And I was here for it! Omedetou gozaimasu! Woo! Now you might get an inch closer to catching up to Nitty. Actually, I'm kind of curious to see if the special eggs will be broken for you as well. Because the special eggs were definitely broken for Nitty on that level, on that route. So I'm kind of curious to see if they'll be broken for you as well. So do let me know if they are. Oh, goody. <laughs> well, I mean, Nitty is speed in this game, so... But yeah, do let me know if the if the special eggs are broken for you as well. If you're getting 35 and 25 minutes from the get-go, then... Something is wrong. And there is a bug. I don't play much at all offline. Well, if you want to catch up to Nitty, maybe you should reconsider. On the other hand, it's okay if you want to take it slower. Because, you know, my dad's currently not having time, like, whatsoever to do anything with the game. Uh, I wanted to have a uh, spirit tomb ready to launch for Halloween, uh, but that didn't happen. Uh, because, well, real life broke down in June and it's still... We're still dealing with the repercussions of that, so sadly enough, he doesn't have a lot of time to, like, finish the game. He will! <laughs> At this moment, I have no idea when. Yeah. I mean, I mean, otherwise, Bruno is learning how to code, so, like, maybe... <laughs> maybe he can give a helping hand. Are you red? No, you're orange. It's a dark orange because of the shadows. Dang. 16 minutes on the sandwich. Should I move? Do I have other Driftland spawn areas? Or is it just those four? The other one's over here. Grievard. Another Grievard. Mimikyu. Mimikyu, Phantom, Inside of Rock, so we're not going to that one, and then this area over here. Yeah, I guess we'll just stay around here. That's fine. That is fine. That is fine. I've done the math, guys. Out of four Drifloon outbreaks, this might be the better one. Because I can just drive up and down and side to side. Oh, 
I guess. It's not really giving us a lot of luck, though. I do have sparkling power, right? I do. I just want a shiny balloon. Give me shiny balloon. Listen, I know these balloons are notorious for taking children away, okay? But like, I'm asking for one of those balloons. So like, why are they not showing up? Like, I am literally asking for them to show up and take me away. So like, can you please show up to take me away? But like, it needs to be the yellow one, not the purple one. Okay, I won't go away with the purple one. So give me the yellow one. Okay. Come on, balloon. Kidnap me. Pretend I'm still a child and kidnap me. Into the Pokemon world. Actually, who's gonna take my cat? Who's gonna take care of my cats if I get kidnapped into the Pokemon world? Maybe that's not the best idea. Because if I get kidnapped into the Pokemon world... Who's gonna take care of my cats? Cause like, I'm the one that does everything. Bruno's like the, the security guard that ensures that the cats don't eat each other's food. But I'm the one that does all the prep work. Maybe it's not the best idea to ask to be kidnapped by a Drifloon. I mean, I can still pretend that I want to get kidnapped by a Drifloon and then just throw a Pokeball at it as soon as it shows up. Yeah, we can do that. I'm making up stories now. This is fine. Honestly, maybe, considering how difficult this is seemingly being, I might, I might, I might, Consider shiny hunting for this offline. Considering that it is a version exclusive. And I would like to get at least one balloon. So I might actually consider shiny hunting for this during the weekend as well. Of course, if I do get it, I will make sure to post it on the Discord. You know, the place that doesn't exist. But it does. Because we made it so. Um, oh, that's that's a rock rough. Because, like, if I don't get the shiny now in the wild, then I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to do an egg hunt for it. And I kind of like shiny hunting in the wild in this game. Like, with Sword of Shield, I didn't mind having doing like both like having eggs and shiny hunting for the wild because that's efficient for those games but in this game i've seen people lose shinies in the wild because their eggs were hatching and i really don't want that to happen to me because i would just be sad if that were to happen and just shiny hunting in eggs is incredibly boring like you need to be doing other things as well other than just driving around in circles to hatch the eggs. So, I don't know. I might actually just hunt for the Drifloon. If I, if I don't get it today, I might actually hunt for it, like, off stream. To get at least one of them. And then, on Monday, I'll continue hunting for it. To get a second one. And if we get it, then that would be amazing. And if we don't get it, that's a little bit less sad. Because I'll at least have one. Yeah, I think that might actually be the plan. I might actually just go and shiny hunt off stream for this one. Just because it's a version exclusive that's not exclusive to my version. Does that sound acceptable to you guys? Do you authorize me to shiny hunt for the Drifloon? If we don't get the shiny today, would you authorize me to shiny hunt for one during the weekend? 
Just one, not two, just one. I would stop as soon as I got one. Because I know I said I wouldn't do anything off stream, but like, I don't really see how else. We're three sandwiches into the shiny hunt. And we're currently at max odds. If this is going to be another Tauros or male lit leo situation that i'm gonna need more than just two streams to be able to get it hmm. okay like actually i need to put my glasses back on because my head's starting to hurt also means I do need to clean my glasses. Can I clean this with this? Would this work? I think this might work. Not the appropriate thing, but I don't think it's scratching the lens either. I think this should be okay. Yeah, there's still a tiny little smudge in the corner there, but I'm just gonna try my best to ignore it. Because I would like to not induce a headache due to lack of glasses. I think I've spent, like, what, two hours without them? That's good enough. Also, I can see a lot better now. <laughs> Everything was clearly blurry before. I think one thing's for sure with all of this. We know exactly where I'll be hunting for Mianfu when the time comes. Sorry, but I gotta look at my- Okay, no worries, dude! Good luck on your secret spy mission! Yeah, I think if we don't find any shinies today... Six minutes for the sandwich. I'm actually gonna just shiny hunt during the weekend as well. Because I don't think I'm gonna make it. Otherwise, to like, I just want one. I just want to get at least one. I'll be happy if I get at least one. If I can get two, that would be even better. But at least one. Like, at the very, very bare minimum one. I do not wish to shiny hunt for two of them. With, uh, with eggs. Already. We got six, five, five minutes left on the sandwich. Third sandwich of the day. And no shinies to look out for. That's lovely. Guess today was not the day, huh? Guess today was not the day. I'm actually getting really, really tired. 
I might have not had enough caffeine before. Before starting stream. Believe it or not. Also, I'm pretty sure all of my streams run like this. I have a lot of energy at the start and then I just start getting tired. And less energy. Which... You know. I guess would be normal, considering... Did I do work all day? We'll see how the next two weeks of streaming go, actually. Because I have two weeks off. Which essentially means... That I get to wake up at lunchtime for two weeks straight. <gasps> and that also apparently means that I can get a balloon! Yes! Man, I was- I was- I was planning on shiny hunting for this thing. Oh, actually, the, the beast ball would actually look really good too. No, we're going... We're going quick ball. I was already making plans to like shiny hunt this during the weekend. Please don't explode. I know Driftloom has explosion. I don't think Driftloon has explosion, but I don't have a Pokemon with damp. Oh no. Oh no. No! I didn't save. I didn't save before the encounter. I got excited. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um Okay, I guess first drift loon is a fail. Man. I have two minutes. There's no way. There is absolutely no way that a second shiny drift loon is going to spawn if it took 3 sandwiches to get the first one. I need a Pokemon with damp. As soon as the sandwich is over, I'm gonna go find myself like a Politoed or something. Cause I know Politoed has damp. I need to find a Pokemon with damp and just put him at the start of my party cause I'm pretty sure that makes sure that they can't use explosion. Ah, oh, man that sucks. Well, I mean, I found one. While I was making plans to shiny hunt during the weekend, if nothing happens in the next, like, minute and a half, I guess I really am going to have to look for it in a weekend. Oh. Oh, I'm so angry at myself that I didn't save beforehand. The save would have come in handy right about now. Also, I was convinced that only Drift Blim had explosion, not Drift Loon too. Oh, that's really sad. Well, I guess someone should have been a little bit more prepared, and that someone is me. This is how you go from happy to sad in like 30 seconds. Oh man, that actually sucks.
By the way, this is going... I'm going to need to get more Herba Mystica and I'm going to need to get Shiny Hunting during the weekend. Okay. Well, I guess... I guess this is my punishment for being dumb and not having a Pokemon with Damp and not saving before the Shiny Encounter. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, I'm sad. Arcane, welcome on in! Finally, the Friday 15 hour stream is here. No, Arcane. No. Arcane, I'm sad. I lost the shine. The shiny exploded on me. Cause I'm dumb. Well, I mean it auto saved right after the encounter, so I guess saving now is not gonna really make any difference, but. Oh man, that's kind of sad. Okay, I need I need to find out if I have any Pokemon. The danger of some hunting self sabotage. Yeah. I need something that has damp. Damp stops explosion for as far as I'm aware. There's still a spot up here. Actually, I am missing. A balloon. Where'd the other balloon go? Oh, it's over here. Well, I mean, we know how to deal with explosion at least. At least explosion can be dealt with, which is, you know, good. I ended up not looking for damp. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ability! D. A. M. P. It's like the first one. Oh. Crap. Okay. Damp. Search. Do I have anything with damp? Oh, I do have things with damp. Psyduck. Golduck. My shiny Golduck! Oh. Oh. We know what we're doing. We're gonna go with the shiny Gold. We're gonna go with, with the Golduck. Tommy, 4332, hello, welcome on in, thanks for the follow. Okay, okay, so we have a plan. My shiny gold duck has damp. Uh, I'm keep, I keep going in and out of my boxes for some reason. Okay. So basically. This poltergeist is already level 100 for some reason. We're going to place you over here. And then we're gonna go grab the gold duck. I go grab the shiny gold duck. And we're gonna use that as the start of the party. Although it's weak. So I guess we have to hope for the best here. Um now I'm just gonna Google just to double check that damp actually helps against explosion because I don't want to lose another shiny that way um, prevents all Pokemon from using self-destruct explosion mind blown and misty explosion okay so damp does what I needed to do oh man I feel so much dumber now than I did like five minutes ago Just <laughs> couldn't get away. Of course not. And the gold duck. Yeah. Okay, we need to flee. Because this gold duck's going down. Also, I wish gold duck's shiny was gold. Like Psyduck. Psyduck yellow. Okay, the question now is do I make another sandwich? It's... I've been streaming for like two ish hours. Just go back to this area.
Maybe a change of scenery will help. Will help with the sorrows of losing the shiny. Oh, it's so laggy. Why is it so laggy every time I'm over here? Like, it's so laggy. Why is people trying to send me messages on Instagram that I don't know? Okay, so this is where the Drifloom are supposed to spawn. I'm gonna get off of me right on. I'm not gonna be making another sandwich. We're just gonna roam around the apple vineyard for a little bit. Is it called an apple vineyard or just an apulard? Orchard? I thought orchards were for flowers though. We're just basically gonna roam around here for a little bit. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky without a sandwich. I doubt it, but you know, you never know. It could happen. It won't, but it could, but it won't. Oh man, I feel so dumb. I had a Pokemon with damp this entire time. I knew, like, I thought to myself, I should put, a, I should start off with putting a Pokemon with Damp in my party. And then I just didn't do it. I just didn't, because guess who dumb? Oh, I hit an apple. This is another one of those shiny hunts that I do need to do as well. Shiny Applin is great. But Shiny Diplin, though, is even nicer. I really am curious to see what it's going to evolve into. Because it's got to evolve. It has middle of it, it has mid-stage evolution vibes. Yeah, I think I'm just making myself more sad about being stupid. Well, I mean, I need to level up the Golduck. Golduck is water. Okay. Well, there's a Grievard over here. I'm not going to be making any more sandwiches today. I do want to level up this Golduck by a little bit. So, Grievard is pure ghost or is it part fire? I feel like Grievard is part fire, but I might be 100% wrong about that. Let's find out. Wait, is it in the water? I mean, the dogs can swim, so... Okay. So I'm guessing it's pure ghost. Which kind of makes it weirder because, like, it has a candle on its head. Why would a Pokemon have a freaking candle on its head and be pure ghost? Should have been ghost fire like Chandelure. Or maybe I guess it, they didn't make it ghost fire because of the lit with wine also being like candles and stuff. Hmm. Okay. I want another outbreak that I could probably easily hunt in. Oh wait, we have the other Drifloon outbreak on the other map. Not this one. This one's inside of the ground. We have this one. We also have this, though. Oh, that works. 
That works. I'm not gonna make a sandwich. I just want to increase Golduck. Um, Golduck's level by a little bit. Although going for a Scatterbug might not be the best idea since it's like really, really low level. What else we got in this map? Mimikyu. Hmm. Oh, there's Mimikyu over here. We can do that. I'm sure they won't be too high level. And that Golduck will be able to take care of that. I hope. I hope. I'm crying, but I hope. I'm crying on the inside. Don't get me wrong. Actually, I should heal. I don't want to use the technical machine machine. Oh gosh. Alrighty. Mimikyu, I'm coming for you without a sandwich. Here they are. Is the difference visible? 43. Okay, so maybe this Mimikyu outbreak is still not the right one. I'm spiraling. I'm spiraling. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Is it fine though? Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Some way, somehow. Actually, if I... Yeah, no, but I do really need to... Hmm, I'm running math in my brain. I could go over on this area, though. Phantom should be very visible in the swamp. And shouldn't be level too high. As well. Guys, we're going to the swamp. Oh gosh, what's happening? Oh my gosh! I was over here peaceful! Darkest Dragon! Thanks for the raid! Holy crap, you're giving me a heart attack over here! And it's Mimikyu! Hello! Nana Rohana! Hello, welcome on in! Thanks for the follow! Shiny Ace, thanks for the follow as well! Jabalo! Jabalu? Jabalo, Jabalu, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Welcome on in, everyone. Thank you for the raid. I was over here being all sad. Because I lost a shiny Drifloon. Exactly. Oh, I'm so glad I got that right, Jabalu. Jabali, Jabalo. <laughs> Jabali, Jabalu, Jabalo. Yes, 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 yes. Doing great, doing great, doing great. <laughs> e. Duncan, hello. Welcome on in, shiny ace. Hi. How are we doing, everyone? Missed the egg game so much! Oh, You know you can play as well, you just have to come in my chat, even if I'm not online. The game is still gonna be available if I'm not here. <laughs> Especially the last bit of it. Yeah, exactly. See, I, I'm like terrific with usernames, guys. Terrific. <laughs> Hope I brought some shiny luck to you. Oh no, I actually just lost the shiny drift loom because I thought only the drift blim had explosion and I didn't save before the shiny and it exploded on me um so so yeah <laughs> violet is superior violet is superior yes I didn't press don't rate it, it, oh what I'm what sentence holy crap hold on my brain just like I didn't press don't raid with Dorcas. I didn't... It didn't take me. Oh. Buttons. Buttons are a thing. I'm on 5,909 encounters for Pampor. And... Which game are you playing? <laughs> I feel bad for you. 
I'll get it back though. Yeah, I, 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 I'm sure I will. But like, the um, main issue is that I only have until like Monday to get that done and I need to heal up the gold duck. I'm trying to level up the gold duck. I'm on my phone. That's cool. I think, right? Stan is part of the raid. Yes, Stan is part of the raid. Therefore, hello. Welcome on in. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> also, bra bracelety tomato. Thanks for the follow. And also, uh, yes, I will I will hydrate. Oh my gosh. This is I'm a mess right now. <laughs> Alrighty. Holy macaroni. Oh, E. Duncan, thanks for the follow. And I hope everyone has a fantastic day, of course. Obviously. I have hydrated. Hydration was accomplished. <laughs> also, uh, to anyone that came in with the raid, uh, I'm Tiny Tasha. I only play Pokemon, and apparently since a couple of days ago, I also play a watermelon game that I'm addicted to. Um, <laughs> so there's that too. Uh, I do not use candies to level up my Pokemon, so everything has to come from fighting. Which is, I know, not a bad, not a, not a bad idea, not a great idea for sure. Um, also, we have been Suica game. Yeah, except that I started playing it on my phone like a day before all the people started playing it on the Switch. Um, which I didn't even know was going to be a thing. Because uh, <laughs> apparently there's a version that's very similar to the phone, to the, to the um, Switch version. The watermelon game. Yes. Also, the Poke Code. Thanks for the follow. But yeah, so to everyone that is new here, um, me and my dad have been developing a mini game for chat. It's currently only available for my chat. You can start playing by typing egg in chat. The game is called Hatchimon, and I'm sure you're seeing some people in chat play the game already. And I'm hitting things I don't want to hit. That's fine, though. <laughs> I'll have to raid and lurk for a bit. You have some shiny luck in the meantime. Thank you, dude. I'm supposed to be hunting for the Drifloon, but I, I I lost one and I'm sad about it. So I don't want to make another sandwich, but we're still going from Outbreak to Outbreak because I do want to level up this gold deck because it has damp, which will prevent explosion from happening if it happens the next time. Fingers crossed. You missed my message totally in this realm since raid. So I just resend it. Pokemon X. One in five, 12 odds. I'm currently 12 times over odds. Oof. Dude. First of all, sorry for missing your message. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm not great. I'm trying my best. But also, that is terrible, dude. That is absolutely awful. I hope you get it soon. E. Duncan, I'm upgrading my Miraidon. How do you upgrade your Miraidon? Like... I don't... Unless... But no. I don't get it. <laughs> Sa oh! Sandwiches. The Titans. Ah, I understand now. I was just like, you can't upgrade... The what you see is what you get! <laughs> I was a little bit confused. But hey, that that is my middle name, so... Nothing new there. My second Panzer took... 2020 encounters funny number to get it on dang that's still a lot of encounters though that is actually still a lot of encounters but yeah i uh i don't, I don't know what i'm doing with my life basically i lost the shiny and now I, that i actually like really really wanted and now i don't know what i'm doing with my life because I was dumb. Message was nicer under a thousand encounters to get to. My longest shiny hunt was over 9,000 encounters for Delmise in Pokemon Sword. 
And other than that, my second longest one has definitely been Wulu. You can't really count for um, encounters in this game because like it's literally impossible. They're all overworld spawns and they show up as shiny. So we're counting sandwiches. Currently for sandwiches in this game, we're tied between Mill Litleo and uh, Water Tauros. So it's been nice. <laughs> Got three shinies to Tuttle to show up in one outbreak since then. Haven't tried to shiny hunt. How did the Tauros hunt go? It's finally over. <laughs> it's finally over. Uh, but now we have a new mission. We need to get that to evolve into a three segment. I didn't have the sprite for the three segment to Dunsparce, so... Uh... I'm using just a regular dunce bar. Oh! Wait! Ah! It's a shiny phantom! I don't have a sandwich active! Okay! Okay, everybody! Everybody! Relax! Relax! Okay, Pokemon. I need, 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 I need you apparently oh my gosh everybody calm down it's a shiny phantom i don't have a sandwich active i didn't save beforehand i probably should have saved beforehand does this thing have explosion wait does this thing have explosion wait 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 Please don't tell me this thing has explosion as well. I can't I can't lose another shiny to explosion. I, I just I just I can't. Confuse ray curse Okay, it doesn't seem to have explosion. Okay, okay, I think I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I'm more scared of teleport. It has teleport? Oh gosh! Oh no! Ah, wait! I kinda wanna use this Pokeball. Wait, okay, wait. If I run, I can save. Okay, if I run, I can save, and if anything happens, I can just... Reset the game. Let's be smart about this. Let's be smart about this. I've made a mistake once already. Uh, we're gonna put in Cerulege, actually. I'm gonna use a fastball. No, I'm gonna use a timer ball. And then just... Hope for the best. Please. Please, 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 please. Ah! Oh, thank goodness! <sighs> no teleport, no explosion. We're good! We have a new shiny today! We have a shiny in the bag! We have a shiny in the- I'm gonna say, save, save. Check for mark. Oh, that's actually a good idea. I'm saving twice just to be safe. Oh my freaking goodness. Shiny hunting stresses me out apparently. <laughs> Shadow Mons, thanks for the follow. Okay, where'd the shiny go? Oh, it's over here. Okay, I need to move this for starters. Let's move this somewhere. Uh, that's gonna be this box. Okay. Check summary. It is not marked. It is not marked. That's okay. That is okay. I just see something here. Tackle and astonish. Okay, so this doesn't have teleport. Fine. We're fine. So fine. Totally fine. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm just gonna stick around here because I still have the gold duck that I would like to 
level up some more. The mark is 1 in 100, though, for non-shiny. Don't know the odds for the mark shiny. Honestly, marks have never really been something that I'm, like, too concerned about on Pokemon. So if they have them, that's really cool. If they don't have them, I'm not going to be too fussy about it. Because I really only care more about the shinies. Same thing goes for, like, IVs. I don't really care about IVs either. Maybe I should for some circumstances, but, like... I really don't. Probably should. But I really don't. The number of phantom in the outbreak is growing lower. That is okay though, because I still want to defeat all of them. First sandwich hunt for my son in Violet was Iron Hands. He does not have the charm. Managed to get the shiny Iron Hands with the rare mark. His luck is out of this world. That is really lucky. Like, actually. That is actually really... Hello? I didn't mean to hit you. With hyper training, IVs are not something to worry too much about anymore. That is true. Wait, does this deal damage? It does. Okay, we're fine. Will o Wisp. It's true, but also I never really cared about IVs in the first place, so. The rare mark is one in a thousand. Is there a reason why? Wait, isn't the uncommon mark more rare than the rare mark? I knew that was a. I know that there's a mark that's supposedly more rare than the rare mark. But nothing is more rare than my mark, aka my dad. <laughs> I have a full box of uncommon marked shinies. I have some marked shinies in my box, sis. <laughs> Personality marks are rare though. I, th I also believe I have a shiny that has like a dawn mark. Like the little sunrise or sun sundown or whatever that mark's called. Fairly sure I have a couple of them. Oh, right, I need to heal. There we go. We can keep going! Of course, the mark you get on your birthday is rare too, since you can only get that mark one day in the year. Oh! And is it like a guaranteed mark that you get on- like every Pokemon you catch on your birthday have that mark? Or is it like a chance that on your birthday you get that mark? Because I don't really know how that works. Oh, it's a chance. Okay. Well, a chance is still a chance, so... That's fine. You guys gave me energy walking in here. I was kind of down and sad that I lost the shiny drift into an explosion that I should have been able to prevent. You guys kind of lifting my spirits over here. <laughs> Also, the shiny that I just got does also help very much, but it's mostly you guys. <laughs> mostly you guys. Also, the alpha mark is rare since you would need to get shiny alpha in PLA. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're, no. Uh-uh, no, sorry, uh-uh. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ever going back to Legends Arceus. No, that's not happening. I rage quit that game so hard. <laughs> I, uh, no, just... Just no. <laughs> I, uh... No. <laughs> We're not going back to PLA. Like, it was- it was fun. Alpha Pokemon are terrifying. 
Arceus is an absolute menace. Um, but I'm not going back there. No, I'm like traumatized. Like when when the, the Blood Moon um, Ursaluna showed up in this game when I started playing the music, I, I had PTSD from that, dude. I have freaking PTSD from that. Oh, right, you're almost dead. Sorry, Golduck. He's trying to make an almost dead Golduck fight. That's not really. He also has a chance of getting item find a mark now, though. Okay, I mean, that's cool. All I want is for the Golduck to level up a bit more. You fight. I'm gonna just decimate this outbreak, aren't I? Hey, listen, if it gets the, do the Golduck to level up a bit more, then all is well. I'll do 65 more encounters to get up to 6,000 and then bedtime for me. Has been hunting this monkey for 48. Dude. Okay, listen, you're gonna get it before 6,000. Like, I believe. I believe that you're gonna get it before 6,000. Like, you gots to. You gots to. Do I wanna fight this bird? I don't. Great. Golduck's dead. No! Golduck's alive! Oh! Oh, thank you, Golduck. Run! Run! Worst part is I need to hunt it again since I need to for my shiny living decks. Is there not a easier game? Wait, are the, are the, the pans... Are the monkeys... Are the elemental monkeys coming out for part two? For the DLC part two. It's like they're bringing back a bunch of Pokemon, like including all the starters and stuff like that. Could be fun. I'm actually waiting to shiny hunt the starters uh, since they announced that they, they were going to be like in the wild. Um, in part two, like you could see it in the trailers and all that jazz. Like I'm actually just waiting for that to come out to start shiny hunting those. I would like a shiny Sprigatito, please. Also a shiny Squirtle. That would be nice. I don't think they're coming back. Can't remember seeing their name on the list. Well, I've carefully and skillfully managed to avoid uh, basically all spoilers. Um, so... I have not seen said list. All I have seen is what has been shown in the trailers. Or like announced by the Pokemon company themselves. I want to I want to stay I want to keep it a surprise, you know? Cuz like that's nice. My brain has goldfish memory. All I can remember is what is shown in the trailer. <laughs> Hey, my brain has goldfish memory too, trust me. Can't remember crap about anything. Like my coworkers were joking today that like, if I ever have to give like a police report with like a description of someone to the police, I'm I'm basically screwed. Like I'm not going to be able to be of any kind of help. Because I don't remember people's faces like ever. I either know the name or I know the face. I never know both. 
It is a problem, especially if I'm working in customer service. It is not a good problem to have. <laughs> On the other hand, ask me something from a show that I watched 10 years ago and I'll probably will remember that. Which makes no sense. Also, is this Grievart spawning in the water? No, it isn't, right? Hold on. OMG, a full out shiny. Hey, congratulations, you Duncan. In which game? Are you you're playing you're playing um Sword and Shield sorry, Scarlet Violet, right? Shinies in this game are so easy to find. Can't remember the name. I need to see face and get a detailed description of where and why I know them. Yeah, I need I need a detailed description of where and why I know them, and then I hopefully will remember the name or the face, but never both. It's kind of a miracle if I remember both. So. So yeah, Violet. Ooh, dude. Okay, listen. Your odds in this game are fire, okay? Your odds, your full odds in this game are fire, okay? Let me, let me just make that clear. Expect the shinies to pour in when you least expect it. Just keep a watchful eye. You'll see them showing up. I managed to find 10 shinies before getting the shiny charm in this game, which is ridiculous. And that's like full odds, no sandwiches, no shiny charm, no nothing. This game has incredible shiny odds for some reason. Like I've, I've never been this lucky with shinies ever in my entire life. So no marks. I mean, hey, listen, you got the full odds shiny. You're already getting real lucky yourself. So. It was a complete accident. Aren't most of them? <laughs> ten? I found maybe like six, so I see where you're kind of Yeah, I found ten. Before shiny hunting. And before getting the shiny charm. Actually, my most- I think one of my most insane ones was probably the shiny- shiny Heracross. I found the shiny Heracross while I was trying to look for the evolved form of the Tumbleweed. Uh, because I didn't want to do the steps to evolve it. I found a shiny Heracross before I found the evolved form of the Tumbleweed. And that to me is kind of ridiculous. Because, like, isn't a shiny supposed to be more rare, more rare than an evolved form? Like... You know? I thought it was normal. Wait, which shiny did you get, Duncan? That's hilarious. I... Like... I have no words. I'm pretty sure there's a clip somewhere. A Gibble. Oh, dude, Gibble's a good shiny. I'm just kind of sad that Garchomp's shiny is... non-existent. Because, like, Gibble's shiny, the blue becomes, like, a more, like, bluer blue. So... Sadly, Garchomp is barely noticed. Gar Garchomp's shiny is comparable to Gengar. Like, you really don't really notice the shiny at all. I got shiny Zerka Tree today, so I'm only missing the Hilego for the Ultra Beast now. Ooh, that's nice. I did not get that far in X and Y. I actually stopped right before the Ultra Wormhole. It was a Tatsugiri. <laughs> oh no! I have PTSD with Tatsugiri as well, guys. Oh man, Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri trolled me so much. So, so much. No, I didn't even play Ultra. Oh no, yeah, look. Oh my gosh, my brain. My brain, my brain, my brain. 
just holy crap. My brain is failing. My brain is failing at this point. Um, yes, I do mean in Sun and Moon, I did not get past the Ultra Wormhole. I didn't enter the Ultra Wormhole. When it comes to Sword and Shield and the DAs, I was trying to hunt for Solgaleo. I've done over a hundred DAs for Solgaleo, and I could not find a shiny. And then Sword and, Sh and then um, I just started shiny hunting other things. And in the meantime, like this came out, so I went with this instead. <laughs> so doing good. But yeah, I was gunning for Solgaleo, but... I don't know. I got emotional. At some point, because of reasons that I don't want to talk about right now. <laughs> 100 is Ricky numbers on... Tail's stream. I do not know who Tail is. But we're talking about DAs, right? Like... Oh, Dorka's Dragon. Okay. See? See? Names! I'm an absolute dingus. Can't get anything right here. I have a shiny Umbreon. That is a great shiny. I also have a shiny Umbreon, but it's in Pokemon Go. That's the only- that's the only place I have the shiny Umbreon. I actually... Do have to keep paying attention to see if we ever get an Eevee outbreak here because I do need to find the rest of the evolutions. Um... Because I only have a Porygon now. We do need to find the rest of them. But it's literally impossible to shiny hunt for Eevee unless there's an outbreak in this game. I tried. I got every other shiny, including... Tan the mouse. Somehow. But I did not get the Eevee. Guzzler took me over 200 DAs. We made a contest where me and another viewer to see who could get it first. He lost the path, so I hosted one so he could save it again. And in that DA, I got the shiny. Dang! That is lucky. Or unlucky. Or both. It depends on what you won. <laughs> okay, we're up to 36. I really don't want to use candies to level up this thing. Just pride and respect. Hey! Can't complain with that. That's good enough. That is good enough. There's still supposed to be doggos here, right? Like, I don't see the doggos. Oh, there we go. Another doggo! For some reason, all of my shiny hunts today, or almost all of them, have been in the rain. Can someone please explain why I am attracting rain in-game instead of in real life? This week alone, I've gotten three shiny legendary before I got this monkey. How? I have no clue. Probably because shiny odds in the DAs are slightly higher than shiny odds in... Everything else? If I remember correctly? I might be- I might be misremembering, but for as far as I'm aware, like, shiny- shiny odds in the DAs are like 1 in 100. Or was it 1 in 25? I don't know. I got a Suicune in like 6 DAs, and then after that I was stuck on Solgaleo for like over 100. It's 1 in 100 in DAs, yeah. See? Oh, look at that! My brain still works. Somewhat. Brain still works somewhat. Yeah, but it's not guaranteed to get 1 in 100. You can be way over... Yeah, no, your odds are 1 in 100, a.k.a. your odds is 1%. So every DA you do, you have a 1% chance 
that one of them will be shiny, which is still higher than all the other things because the other things I think is like one point or like 0 0.3 or something. I don't know. Let me cheat. Uh, I saw one streamer had over 3,000 DAs for ground on. Dude. Yeah, I remember watching um, a drive stream trying to hunt for Shiny Soul Galio as well, and dude had a bunch of DAs done as well for, uh, for Soul Galio. They got it though. But. Yeah, I quit that one. I had to. For, like, emotional reasons. Okay, well, you're saying that the Griever outbreak is going down, but, like, at the same time, there's not really a lot of Griever spawning at all. Solgaleo is a meanie. It is. But also, Solgaleo really... Like, shiny Solgaleo really looks like my cat. Or looks like the cat that I had. A few years back. Um, yeah, I only beat two gyms, by the way. Hey, you're doing great. Let me, E. Duncan, let me give you another statistic from my game perspective. I found a shiny whooper before I reached Los Platos. That's your benchmark. I found a shiny whooper before I reached Los Platos. So that's like zero gems. That's like barely even a town. <laughs> so listen, if you already have a shiny, you're gonna do just fine. You're gonna get a bunch more before you complete it. Trust. Also, it appears that the slower you play the game, the more shinies you're gonna get before getting the shiny charm, because that's kind of what happened with me. I have a level 77 star- Why did you just start the game and you have a level 77 starter? What the hell is that all about? I found Elite Four before I got to the school cutscene. I stood there for a second, looked at the dog spawning, and said, Why are you so tan? And bam! Shiny fairy dog. Oh damn, that's lucky! That is very lucky. Yeah, now this game, I think it's mostly, probably, most definitely, for sure, the fact that all of the Pokemon spawn in the overworld. So you can actually see if one changes color, if the color changes visible. Um, whilst if you're, like, in other games, you literally have to, like, run around in the grass and spawn things one by one. Like, here I can see, like, three pigs. No, do I need the shiny pigs? I don't. I already have all the family, but... I actually found the entire Lechonk family without shiny hunting for it. Just sheer accident. I was hunting for other things. Can I get a shiny pig? Well, you can. You just have to look for it. It's bright pink. Shiny Lechonk is bright pink. You can do this. Yeah, I found the Lechonk I was looking for. I don't even know what I was looking for at the time. And then I found... No, actually, I found a male Oikolon. Just by sheer accident. I was just traveling from one place to the, to the next. And then, poof, that pig was pink. Um, then I found a shiny Lechonk while I was shiny hunting for something else, like, entirely different. And then I found the other version of Oikolon. The female one, I believe. While shiny hunting for... Zangoose. Just, just nothing makes sense with that. Nothing is free in life, mi amigo. Yep. You gotta look hard. I have a box with, like, spare shinies that I am basically accumulating to one day in the near future do, like, a little giveaway with it. Um, 
but yeah. You should have more viewers. I don't know how many viewers I have, and I don't want to know how many viewers I have. So please don't tell me, because I will get nervous, curl up on the ball, and nothing else in my brain will work. <laughs> like, nothing else in my brain will work. I mean, my brain's already non-functional at this point. I should probably go wrap my grandma's birthday gift and then go to sleep at this point, but, you know. You guys have given me a little burst of energy when you all came in. I respect your brain. Thank you for respecting my brain. My singular brain cell that is operational appreciates you. <laughs> yeah. Also, I don't remember if I said it or not, but guys, if you're new here, I have a mini game for chat that I've been developing with my dad. You can start playing now by typing egg in chat. After that, you can type in exclamation mark collection that will give you your very own personalized, personalized link to your collection page. It's basically a little Pokemon mini game that you can play in chat. Uh, no matter if I'm online or offline, you can just have chat open and play it on the side. It's very passive and you are enticed to collect them all. This is the leaderboard above my head as well. See if you can beat any of them. <laughs> that is my challenge for you. Basically. If you want to, like if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. I didn't want to have something in my chat that was like, um, Oh gosh, what's what's the other one called? The, the one where you battle as well. Because I'm not a fan of battle, so that, that wasn't really my vibe. I was like, hey! Yeah, exclamation mark egg. Right there. Exclamation mark egg. Hey! Shiny ace starting with the shiny! Holy crap, your name brought it up. Your name brought it up. Holy crap. I think you're the first person that starts the game with the shiny. Actually. Damn, dude. Look at you with the luck. <laughs> Look at you with the luck. My goodness. Now, if you, if you got your first egg, you can now type exclamation mark collection in chat. That will give you a link to your very own collection page, which also gives you all of the available commands. Um, which should be helpful. Also, hatch... Uh, on. Let me just see here. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, okay, just a second. Hatch... Um. There you go. There you have all the information that you need to get going. We get to sleep one hour longer this week. I am so blessed. I have, today was my last day of work before having two weeks of holiday. And then this weekend I get an additional hour of sleep. I could not be happier. I could not be happier. I get two weeks plus one hour of free time. I'm gonna do so much projects in the house. I have so much stuff that I've been putting off on doing. Because I just didn't have the time or the energy. I mean, if you have a smartphone, that should go automatically, I believe. I've been playing Pokemon Sleep. I'm kind of wondering how the time change will affect the game. So... See what happens. Maybe the game will break for tonight. Or this weekend at night. Yeah. I think we're slowly running out of Griever, but Golduck's almost at 37, which helps. Should I give the Golduck the lucky egg? I should give the Golduck a lucky egg. Do I have a lucky egg that I can give it?
Lucky egg, lucky egg, lucky egg. I have so much stuff in my bag. Do I have a lucky egg? I do! There we go. No, I want it to hold. There you go. Does actually, does the lucky egg affect how much XP you get uh, from uh, doing like the whoosh, go defeat things, battles? You know, those battles. I used to like these monkeys, not anymore. <laughs> oh no, poor you! And I'm telling you, you're gonna get the monkey. The auto battles? I think so. Let me fact check. Ooh, we got fact checking people in chat. Nice! <laughs> 62, what did we get before? Might not actually double with the auto battles, because I'm pretty sure I was getting 62 before as well. Thought it was nice since it kind of gave you two sets of starters. That is actually true! Actually, out of the monkeys... I'm not really too big of a fan of the monkeys, actually. Because, like, one of them... Looks like broccoli. The other one just looks kind of derpy. The broccoli one is the green one. It doesn't. Yeah. So you get the broccoli one, which is grass type one. Then you have the little, like, sort of fluffy fountain one. And then you have the fire one, which I think is, like, the most... Like, the best... Oh, hello, Oliver. The better looking one of the three, but then they evolve, and when they evolve, then the water one is the better looking of the three. Sir, what are you doing? Come here. Come here. Show yourself to the people. Guys, I, I'm i presenting you to Oliver. You're very cute, sir. This is Oliver. He's one of three. He's one of my three cats. He's very cute. I'm pretty sure he's hungry. Because they didn't eat all of their dinner when I served the dinner to them, so I took it away. And usually at this hour, I would have probably already, like, stopped streaming and <laughs> and gone to give them dinner, so I might actually have to do that soon. <laughs> but yes, he is a bubba. As in... Genuinely one of the sweetest cats I've ever encountered. Actually, all of my cats are kind of sweet. Except for Nala. Nala's a queen and she's like very sassy. She's like a little panther, actually. But she's also very sweet. Like, if like if Nala gives you attention, oof, like, you know you're feeling loved. And the other two are just very needy. Especially Oliver. Oliver is like the neediest one of the three. I also have Jasmine in the room, but she's sleeping inside the donut. There's a donut. <laughs> the donut's very comfortable. She's looking very cute over there. Although, if I if I pick up the donut to show you guys her in the donut, like she's not gonna stay in the donut. She's gonna leave the donut. So I don't want to do that to her. I'm gonna fight this. Oliver, don't eat the chair! No! Why are you eating the chair? Sorry guys. He was eating the chair. Oliver has pica. Sir, you really can't eat the chair, okay? No eating of chairs. No, no. Dad, get away from there, dude! Okay, I might have to end stream in a second, because, like, if Oliver's starting to eat the chair, we're gonna have a problem. Sir, no, stop eating the chair. It's not the first one that he's tried to eat, sadly enough. Um, yeah, my cats are so weird. I built them a bed and they never use it. I sprayed it with catnip. Put their favorite toy in there, Nada. Then my grandma came to visit and to uh, told her I was going to throw it away since I didn't use it. And then, bam, next day, they slept in there. Yep. 
That that's kind of how this works, yes. <sighs> like I already have one chair that I had to move into the kitchen because like they don't have access to the kitchen because if they have access to the kitchen, they will eat everything. Uh, so we keep the kitchen door closed. So we had to actually move one chair into the kitchen. Oh, no. He's literally like eating the bottom of the chair at this point. Um, not, uh, not great. Also, it still says that I have Grievert to spawn, but they're like not spawning at all. Um, we already had to move one chair into the kitchen so that he stops eating that chair because if he can't access the chair, he can't eat the chair. But there are literally like chunks of the chair missing because he decided, you know what? I want to eat this chair. We also had to remove an entire cat bed that my cats actually really, really loved uh, because he was eating the wood of the bed. Because it was like one of those like woven, like wooden beds that you just put a pillow in. Yeah. Um, my cat's crazy. I don't have a single... Actually, the one cat that I thought I was going to have the most problems with is Jasmine. Like, health-wise and, like, stuff like that. And turns out she's the healthiest one of the three. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he is a menace. Completely. He will eat stuff that he shouldn't. And then he's going to look all innocent and like belly flop up like a puppy so that you can give him belly rubs because he freaking loves belly rubs and it makes no sense to me. He's back in the room. <laughs> okay, I think I really, I think I need to end streaming like feed them cause uh, yeah, I don't, he's, he's looking lovingly at the chair with eyes of hunger. So, uh, I think, I think I'm gonna have to go and feed them. <laughs> I think that's gonna be the, that's gonna have to be the plan for this time. A layer! Sounds like your cat aspires to be a mouse. <sighs> Honestly, close enough. Close enough, actually. Okay, so, with that said, cats, I'm keeping an eye on them. <laughs> I'm gonna put you guys on full screen and we're gonna end stream here. Um, cause I need to, I need to make sure that they eat food instead of objects. Um, even though they didn't want to eat food when I served them food a couple of hours ago. But it's beside the point. Let's put you guys on full screen. Okay, guys. Well, if you've been here from the start, then you know that I was getting kind of upset because I couldn't find the shiny Drifloon. And then I found a shiny Drifloon and it exploded on me because I am an idiot. I knew I should have had a Pokemon with Damp, but I didn't. I should have also saved before encountering, but I didn't. And then, if you've come in with the raid, thank you so much for bringing the shiny luck. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten the shiny phantom. Uh, I'm fully convinced of that. Y'all brought in the shiny luck. Y'all brought in the raid. The raid brought in the shiny luck, so thank you all so much for stopping by and giving me a little bit of shiny luck after I lost one. Much appreciated. Oh. <laughs> just you know he's there i have an entire cat tree behind me for a reason you know oliver he's cute <laughs> anyway so with that said i'm gonna just look at those eyes he's like end stream and feed me woman <laughs> okay lovelies Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for the raid. That was absolutely magnificent. Thank you to all of the new lovelies with the follows. And I do really appreciate y'all being here. I will be back on Monday, 8.30 p.m. my time, which is 9.30 for most of Europe. Should be 12.30 PST and 6.30 a.m. Australia Sydney time. So if you want to join me in my hunt for shiny Drifloon and also shiny three segment to dunce bars because that's happening then feel free to join me on monday 
And other than that, I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Should I raid someone? I feel like I should raid someone. Who do we have that we can raid? Does anyone have any recommendations for raids? Because I don't know who's live. Who, who would you like to raid? Do we have any recommendations? Any lovely person, people, human beings? That y'all feel like could be worth raiding. Because I don't really raid much. But I feel like I need to, I need to, you know, give the love back. Pass it on. Just don't know who to raid. Because... Because <laughs> I have no idea who is live. Uh, let's see, who is live? I do not know who's live. I do not know how to see who's live. I do not know how these buttons work. Okay, I guess we're not ready because I can't figure out. I, I don't I don't know how this works. So <laughs> I tried. I tried, guys. Last time I managed to raid because someone gave me a channel to raid. But other than that, I can't figure this out. So with that said, thank you all so much for being here. Thanks again for all the follows. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you guys on the... On the <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Have a good weekend, guys. Thanks for stopping by. And if you want to keep playing Hatchimon while I'm offline, feel free to do so. It's available while I'm offline as well. So enjoy the game. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.